State Cell Adventures, weekend of April the 10th. Number 127 was a small ranch in Wilkins, with a number of interesting finds. But it was the first time I saw golf tees sold this way. 128 was a newer colonial, but was virtually empty. But I did notice the pinky and boy blue, but these ones were a paint-by-numbers set. 129 in Forest Hills was a really nice townhouse. It had a very modern aesthetic in the living areas, a lot of indigenous artwork, and this hall tree was calling my name. The small outdoor area had some good finds too. My friend Tim spent over an hour trying to get this bird feeder detached from its pole. 130 was a picker's paradise. Now this house had several collections to peruse from. There were 90s lunch boxes, porcelain of all sorts, religious kitsch, vintage glasses, sewing machines, typewriters, and the biggest collection of all was pressure cookers. I didn't get the whole story on this one. And the gamer and me had to share the four Nintendos chilling in the corner. Number 131 in Scott was another colonial, pretty picked over. The Laura Petri kitchen had some updates, but the retro vibes were all there. Top priority, always look out for local vintage finds, especially if they're functional. This C. Palmer Pitzel iron made in West Newton, PA, definitely meets that criteria. The last stop on this productive weekend was this interesting home in Irwin. There were at least four or five buildings on this lot. The main house, a bungalow, the garage, and a number of sheds. Inside the house was pretty dated, but in a very nostalgic way. There was tons of toys and dolls. But by far, the big find of the day was this coffee table. Leather topped with side cabinets, protective glass included, and two matching end tables to boot. I cleaned it up, took it home, and the cats are already assessing the situation. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and find me on Etsy.